Hello guys, this is Navin Dwedi. In this tutorial, we will talk about cloning object. Now in Java, if we talk about object copying, we have three choices. Either we can go with uh, something called as shallow copy. Then second one we have is deep copy. And the third one we have is by using cloning. Now let's see exactly what all this means. So let's start with the first part, which is shallow. Now this shallow here is, let's say we have a class, let me define a class as class ABC. Now in this class, if I create a variable called as i, okay, let me take one more variable which is j, so I have two variables, one is i and j. So if I create object of A here, ABC as uh, ABC OBJ equal to new ABC, and let, let me assign some values, we'll say OBJ dot i is equal to 5, and obj dot j is equal to 6. Now the, in, the initial value for my i and j is 6. Now let's say if I ha if I print this, let me just print the value. If I say obj dot i or 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 we can we can do we can use something we can directly print object which is obj and but the problem is if you print obj we don't have any two string method. So it's better to have a two string method when you when you want to print the object. So how to get toast string? You can just right click since we are using NetBeans or a good IDE. So right click and there's an insert code here. We want a toast string method for both the values. So yeah. now if I if I run this code, you can see it's an object of ABC. It will print I and J value. Okay, let me run this code now. So if I run this, my values are it's it should be five and six. It's a starter problem. Yeah, so value is 5 and 6, right? Now what I will do is, let me create one more object, abc obj1 equal to new abc. Now I have two objects, one with reference a and second with reference, sorry, one with reference obj, second one is obj1. What if, if I print the value of obj1 here? If I print object uh, values for obj1, it will print 0, 0. It's because we have not initialized the values of i and j, and by default, for instance variables, the values are 0, 0. Now what I want, I want to copy these values, which is 5 and 6, in this new reference obj1. One of the way to do it is directly write obj here. Now what this obj will do is, it will just copy the data. Okay, It seems like it's copying data, but uh, let's see what happens. Let's just say, uh, if I'm assigning a value uh, of obj to obj1, seems like we are assigning values. If I run this code now, you can see the value is 5 and 6. That means in obj1, we have value 5 and 6. But what if, if I go here, if I say obj1 dot, uh, let's say j, which was 6 earlier, let me make it 8, right? And obviously, the new value you'll be getting is 5 and 8, right? We are, we are going, uh, going right. But what if I print value for obj? Now see, I have changed the value of obj1, but not of obj, right? So the output for obj1 should be, the output we're expecting here, it should be 5 and 8, and the output we're expecting here is 5 and 6, because we have not changed the value of obj. If I run this code, both the values will be getting 5 and 8. It's because we are not creating two objects, we are creating two reference and object is same, which means in your heap memory, you'll be getting only one object with two reference. One is obj and second is obj1. And both these reference are pointing to the same object. If you change value of obj, it will reflect on obj1 also. That is the problem of shallow copy. Now, next copy is deep copy. Now, what exactly deep means is, Instead of writing abc obj1 equal to obj, we'll say abc, a new abc. See what our concern was, we want to copy the values of obj to obj1, right? So we have to do it in this way. We can say obj dot j and we'll copy value of obj i also, right? Equal to it's obj dot i, right? So now I'm doing a deep copy. That means, uh, 
taking all the values from obj and putting the values to obj1 now if i print the value for obj obj1 now the output is 5 and 6 is because we are fetching values from we are fetching values from this uh, obj now what if i change the value for obj if i change value for obj1 dot j again it's equal to 8 and let me print the value of obj1 it should print the expected output here is 5 and 8 and let's run this and the output will be getting yes yeah we are getting 5 and 8 but what if i print value for obj1 since we are not changing values for obj1 if i say uh, if you are not changing the value of obj that means you should print 5 and 6 and if i run this and bingo we are not uh, we are changing only value of obj1 not obj that's why you are getting 5 and 6 right so that means it's working this type of copy is called as deep copy you have to pick up each and every value and you have to assign those values simple right this is called as deep copy now the problem with this shallow copy is we are not getting two objects, we are getting only one object and both these uh, reference are pointing the same object in shallow. The problem with deep copy is it's it's good, right? We are creating two objects, both the val uh, we can copy the values of one object to other object. But the problem is let's imagine you have 50 variables. If you have all these 50 variables, you have to pick up each and every value, right? That means it will increase the number of lines, it will take on also 50 lines, right? So to make it simple, what we can just write the coding of shallow and it should work in deep. That means we can combine this two to form a new type of copy and that type of copies are called as cloning, right? Exactly how cloning works, we will see in the part two of this tutorials. So thank you so much and do subscribe for the further videos.